Hi everyone, it's Christy. Um, I just wanted to do a little haul today. Um, and I have got to clean off my desk. I, It is closing in on me and I have no more <laughs> room to work. I have at least three or four unfinished projects on my desk at this moment. So anyway, um, but I wanted to show you what I got at Goodwill on Wednesday. So, um, they had little silver books, which, well, now this one says a happy day book, but my daughter called them little silver books. Um, it, it looks very similar to a little golden book, only it has a silver strip, but they are the same size. I have not seen these before. Um, so anyway, I always pick them up when I see them. Um, so I've got a lot of 25 coming. I have about 12, I think now, including these two. So I'm going to be able to make about 36 uh, journals for my craft fair. So I've got this counting book, and I think this one, this one's pretty old. Um, oh, it's got a hole. Uh, well, this one says 1957-1956. Oh, okay, 25th printing, 1981. Um, and then this one is 1984 so it's newer and you can tell by the pictures um i was able to pick up a couple more let me move this out of the way real quick oops knocking the lamp over <laughs> sorry um a place called freedom the horse whisperer this says volume 1 1996 um, and it's the blue this is the same I think this is the same year as the one that I did the blue journals because this looks the same and the pages are not aged at all so it's been well cared for but I love these covers these make great blank journals and then um, in the same um, well, that are not the same year. This one is 1994, Volume 3, and 96, Volume 3. Final Judgment, Nathan's Run. I'm looking to see. I don't recollect hearing about any of those. Um, this one has a very flat spine. This one is kind of rounded. But they are pretty much the same cover. So I think I might... I know my Porch Prince has a lavender kit that I've had my eye on so I may uh, I may want to use something like that with this because these are even though they're purple you know this is lighter inside and these pages are kind of uh, they've seen the Sun so they're kind of darker um, and and these ones really dark so um, those will be fun to work with and then um, I love Aesop's Fables. I've loved this ever since I was a kid. And I picked this book up because it had really cool paper. Um, the pictures, let's see if you can see that. The pictures are very vibrant. And I thought they would, they would make really great um, envelopes or any kind of insert you know, for the little golden books. I'm always looking for color, colorful um, pages like that. And these are oversized because this, look how cute that is. This book is, let me put it in there, 9 by 12. So good size pages there. And then this was there, and I told you about this a couple days ago. It's not in the greatest shape. Um, it is a King James red letter edition. It had something stuck in it. It's, it's got the pages are bent. Um, it smells really musty, so it's going to have to go out in the freezer. Um, but the pages are really, really cool. Um, it's not that old. I mean, this says 1978. Um, I don't want to list any personal information, but um, it says copyright 1976 for this, but um, I love the way 
that the pages are laid out in columns, three columns like this. Um, there's pictures, lots of pictures, well, paintings. <laughs> Um, lots of photos of, of places, Jerusalem, garden, yeah, I love these. And then, of course, the New Testament is in red. Um, it has things like, like the Lord's Prayer, little different study aids. This is actually a really cool, uh, has like a little concordance in the back, uh, uh, index and a little dictionary um, but in the back it had some really um, colorful maps these were really, I think these are really cool I love these maps and they're so bright and the paper is, is nice paper so I will definitely use those and um, I'm not sure if that's a photo I can't really read that page it almost looks like it's a blank page that this has bled onto because I'm looking at the shape. Yeah, pretty sure that's what that is. This page is just bled onto that page. But <laughs> that kind of looks cool. So anyway, my daughter insisted, and you can see it's it's kind of torn around the edges. Um, the corner's not great. But, you know, it was a dollar. If, if I can't use it, I'm out a dollar. So... Um, I'm going to put that in the freezer as soon as I'm done here. Um, the freezer is supposed to kill the, the mildew. Okay, so, and these, I haven't, I haven't even taken the price off of these, but um, these placemats, let me take them apart here. These placemats were $2 for the two of them, and I thought, well, this, this could make an easy um, easily make four journal covers however you wanted if you wanted to make a larger a larger journal you could I would never use anything that large <laughs> but it's got the back um, and it doesn't it doesn't come apart, so it's it's one layer. It seems to be one layer. Um, well, I'm sure it was too, but it's been ironed together with the, you know, whatever that stuff is that they iron on stuff with. <laughs> I sound like an idiot today. Anyway, I I really like that because it had the the. I just love tapestry. I just love that almost um, medieval. Um, look and I used to be really into burgundy and green and I changed my colors to blue and yellow in my house but still when I'm out shopping I'm still pulled toward this color palette and so I've been using that in my in my journals and I, I think I think this is a um, great purchase now then I came across these I think they're pillowcases. Um, let me measure. Yeah, for like an 18 inch pillow. But, and they have a little zipper on the bottom. So you could put an 18 inch form in there. But I love the design. Isn't that pretty? And it's almost burlap like. Um, it's got a large weave and. Um, yeah, so this is definitely going to be a soft cover, cover journal, and I I looked at it to see if I could get two, but it kind of cuts things in half. Um, this would work, but I don't want the bird cut in half, and I also don't want to have another journal with just a bird tail. Um, although that would be that could work. For a cover too, but we'll see. I um, hope you're getting to see this, or if I'm moving it too quick, it's, it's, and it's very nice um, fabric. It's, it's been well cared for, so it's not unraveling or anything. 
I could throw it in the washer and put a pillow in it and be happy. But the one that was with that was this one. And um, if you've seen these pillowcases anywhere, let me know um, where you've seen them. Um, when I see stuff at Goodwill, I, you know, you always assume that it's been around for a while, but not always. Um, but I just love this giant rose. I don't know if you can, can you see that? It's just, it's the leaves on the bottom. And yeah, so I definitely want to use that. And I wouldn't, there again, I wouldn't probably use the bottom because there's really nothing there. But the rose itself, you know, I could move this over a little bit, maybe use this piece, or I don't know that it, it and it may not work either. I may end up washing them and put them on my couch. So, um, but we'll see. Um, so that's all I have from this trip. I, I try not to go nutso. Um, the last time when I got the seven Reader's Digest books or whatever, and I, I try not to buy the ones that, that are like, Sesame Street. Every once in a while I get Sesame Street, but but I don't just buy them because they're little golden books. Um, I like the older ones. I like the the um, the prayer ones, the kids talking about God or or the things that are more nature or puppies and and things like that. So I'm always on the lookout for those little gold spines, but uh, hopefully my little golden books will get here soon. In the meantime, um, I'm going to have to do some other little projects to entertain myself and keep busy. So I'll be back. Thanks for watching.